Google joins forces with Samsung and Qualcomm to unleash Android XR. XR, aka Extended Reality, is an open platform that combines years of investment in artificial intelligence and virtual reality to bring next-gen experiences to headsets and glasses. AI walks your world. Vidi well. Why would you say now is the right moment to launch XR? Yeah, so for pretty much the history of computing, we've been using the rectangular box of a screen display. Whether it's monitors, laptops, tablets, or phones, XR has the power to extend beyond those boundaries. I think now is the perfect time to work on XR because you have a convergence of all these technologies and Gemini is key to powering Android XR. The underlying technology allows us to process inputs from all different kinds of signals, much like you process the real world. The magical thing about XR is that it's moving computing to a place that's truly as natural as you can imagine. Android XR is our new platform for headsets and glasses. It offers some of the best tools for developers to use, and it reduces a lot of the friction. We've been in this space since Google Glass, and we have not stopped. Things like AR Core, the Geospatial API, Lens, Live View, Translate, and now Gemini. We can take those experiences, which already work great, and find new ways to be helpful for people. When we talk about headsets and glasses, we think about headsets as episodic products that you put on for a specific reason. When you're watching the game, Gemini could break down everything about Freddy's Grand Slam. This is the most visceral incarnation of any 3D space or spatial environment you can, you can think of. I can't wait to spatialize old videos. It'll feel like you're right in your memories again. And then we think about glasses as all-day products that you use to get value throughout your day. Our technology really enables us to shrink down the displays that go into the glasses. We'll see more of these highly portable devices that will more and more look like the ones I'm, I'm, I'm wearing right now. With glasses, you'll feel like you're a local, no matter where you are. There's no way we could build this platform other than collaborating very closely. We've been working with Samsung for a number of years, and so we look for opportunities where we could really marry each other's strength in creating something new. From software and UX to hardware, cross-functional partners across both companies have worked seamlessly around the clock as one team to build a powerful XR platform. We've learned that we can build the best platforms with an ecosystem of developers, designers, and device makers. A lot of deep collaboration happens for us to bring the best solution to the ecosystem, to the platform, and to the users. Alone, you can go fast, but together you can go far. And the only way we'll get there is if we build this together. In The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, a babble fish is a magical creature that allows the person who puts it in their ear to understand any language instantly. With Android XR, you won't have to. Hey, Gemini. Yes. Good morning, not know it. Which one is spicier, the beef bulgogi or the bibimbap? Bibimbap is spicier, bulgogi is sweeter. How fun! 안녕하세요. 무엇을 주문하시겠습니까? Beef bulgogi. 네, 십육 불입니다. 아, 그리고 현금만 받습니다. 감사합니다. 옆에서 기다리시면 돼요. How do you like your coffee, boss? your AI executive assistant. Hey, Gemini, what have I missed in the Besties group chat? Me and Sarah are discussing meeting later today at Geo's Pizza to celebrate Kelsey's promotion and are wondering if you can make it. Are there any vegan options there? Yes, reviews rave about the mushroom penny pasta. Great, selling your bubby there. Oh, and can you send a pic of the blue disc to let them know what I'll be wearing tonight? How's this? Awesome, send it. Is there a store where I can get a card for Kelsey nearby? Serendipity Cards is a good choice. Let's go. Real-time tutorials with feedback. It won't judge. Hey, Gemini, how should I hang these shelves? A standard way to hang shelves would be to hang them in line, on top of one another. An alternative would be to hang them staggered for a more expressive approach. Let's go with the first option. How do I get started? Step one, 
Decide on shelf placement and mark the wall lightly with a pencil. Use a level to ensure they'll be straight. Where did I fit my level? I saw the level last on the console next to you. Place the level on top of the shelf and adjust until the shelf is even. So Google announces Android XR extended reality, like AR, augmented reality, VR, virtual reality. This is sort of the next frontier, extended reality. Now, if you follow AI, you've noticed the launch of Gemini 2.0 recently, Google's sort of next flagship model in the AI space. And it has a lot of really cool applications. For example, Project Astra your AI voice assistant that you use on your phone, capable of looking out into the world, answering questions about it, and doing all sorts of pretty cool stuff. This is going to be the next iteration of it. So all the functionality that things like Astra provide now will be available, or in 2025, will be available in a headset, and soon after in some sort of glasses that you wear. Now, this is, of course, kind of the next logical step for a lot of this stuff. You don't have to pull out your phone. You don't have to really do anything. It's always on your face. It's always on. It's able to give you directions, reminders. You're able to take phone calls, even maybe video phone calls, answer text messages. I've played around with both ChatGPT's video and advanced voice mode and also Google's sort of early release demo into what Project Astra is. And I got to say, I'm really getting how this sort of this next step towards a seamless interactions with these AI voice assistants, giving them access to see what you see can be beneficial. Being able to, for example, have a tutorial playing on your glasses, for example, in the scenario when you're hanging shelves on the wall. But for example, you can also think about if you're cooking, looking at what you're doing as you're chopping up vegetables, you can have, you can ask questions like, am I doing this right? Is this chopping or dicing or mincing as this roughly a one inch piece that I'm cutting into. At the same time, the assistant can tell you the recipe that you're making. So not only is it able to tell you the recipe, it's able to comment on what you're doing. You pick up the piece of chicken that you pull out of the oven and you ask it, does this look cooked? All right. It can maybe sort of tell you if you're doing it right. And of course, the Android ecosystem is massive right? It's used by billions of people and is an open source operating system, meaning that anybody can build on top of it. Android XR is designed to be an open unified system for these XR headsets and glasses. This is shaping up to be huge. Let me know what you think. Are you for this, against it? How are you going to feel when everyone around you has these things on, constantly streaming data into the Google Cloud? Me personally, I'm not going to lie, I'm a lot more excited about this than the Apple headset. That's just my two cents. With that said, my name is Wes Roth, and thank you for watching.